I wanted to begin by asking you, you know, you have worked with some fantastic directors, David Lynch, Quentin Tarantino. When this came across, was it sort of like, okay, Alexander Payne, we're going to check that one off. I got to do this. Oh, no, these are <laughs> big things. You know, you don't, uh, when you get a chance to work with Quentin or David or John Huston, it's a, uh, it's a big deal. And, uh, and my agent first asked me would I do a one scene in a movie, and I said sure. Uh, and then he, when he told me it was for Alexander Payne, oh wow. Were you a fan of Alexander's work? Was he someone yes, you wanted indeed. to work with? This is a guy whose pictures I liked. I liked Election. <laughs> then I liked um, Sideways, and I knew this guy was uh, great. He does comedies that are really dramas, uh, or the other way around. As an actor, is that sort of a, because it is a tricky tone that he's able to it's achieve. It's a tricky is it? tone, and he's done it those several times. No, this guy uh, knows what he's doing. Is that mood on the set? Is it something that is in the script? No, I don't think so. I think, uh, I think this is, uh, you know, he's got to take responsibility for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, because the actor goes out there and tries to deliver good movie shots. But when you get done with that, now the filmmaker's got to put those together. And that's where what you're talking about comes from, that tone. Uh, Mr. Clooney, had you worked with him before? No. What, what was that experience like for you, actor to actor? What was sort of, because all your well, scenes are kind of with him. the most generous guy you will ever meet. And also his set is run really warm. He kids around all day long. You know, I didn't seem to have the uh, the aptitude for those kind of things, but mm -hmm. I would have if I had seen him do it. I said, now that's how you're supposed to run your set, Bob. Interesting. So you actually learned from the experience of working with him. Yeah, yeah. This guy, no, this guy is, uh, is really... He's the real deal, isn't he? He's it? the real deal, <laughs> yes. Who is he? I'd like to know who the guy is that my wife was seeing. This is one of those times where uh, I heard it said long ago, casting is 90%. And you cast a guy to play the character Matt in this movie, you couldn't do it better than to, uh, than to get the qualities that uh, George Clooney brings to the character. One of my favorite uh, sequences of scenes in the film is with you and Sid. Because when, when you, you just want this snot-nosed kid He to... deserves a sock in the nose and uh, he's going to get it. I'm going to hit you. How was it working with uh, the kid? Because uh, you know, all three of them are excellent, I thought. Said he's gonna be with me. I'll be a lot more civil with him around. Sup, bro? Look, everybody in this picture is really good. Don't ever do that to me again. Uh, the best other job, and one of the best other jobs I had was Jackie Brown, for which I had campaigned not at all. Listen, I was just sitting in and having breakfast, and uh, here comes Quentin with a script and said, read, read this, see if you like it. Wow. So I'd assume when you when that happens and you read the script, right away you knew. Was it the same with Descendants? Was it sort of just reading it right away and knowing, oh wow, this is a great they're, filmmaker? They're both this surreal. Both of those were surreal. Yeah. Um, finally, Hawaii. Was had you been there before? Had you visited? I've been there, um, but I did two scenes. First time I went for ten days, and the second time I shot the second scene was two weeks. So. To this, two weeks for the second scene. Two weeks for the second scene. So I had a really good time in Hawaii. I, I cannot tell you what a, what a good gig this was <laughs> in all kinds of ways. 